Okay, let's start a book together. So I've just opened the first page of November 9 by Colleen Hoover. If there are any speaking parts, I will do them in an American accent, don't you worry. I wonder what kind of sound it would make if I were to smash this glass against the side of his head. It's a thick glass. His head is hard. The potential for a nice big thud is there. I wonder if he would bleed. There are napkins on the table, but not the good kind that could soak up a lot of blood. So, yeah. I'm a little shocked, but it's happening, he says. His voice causes my grip to tighten around the glass in hopes that it stays in my hand and doesn't actually end up against the side of his skull. Fallon? He clears his throat and tries to soften his words, but they still come at me like ni knives. <clears throat> Are you gonna say anything? I stab the hollow part of an ice cube with my straw, imagining that's his head. What am I supposed to say? I mumble, resembling a bratty child rather than the 18-year-old adult that I am. Do you want me to congratulate you? My back meets the booth behind me and I fold my arms across my chest. I look at him and wonder if the regret I see in his eyes is a result of disappointing me or if he's simply acting again. It's only been five minutes since he sat down and he's already turned his side of the booth into his stage. And once again, I'm forced to be his audience. His fingers drum the sides of his coffee cup as he watches me silently for several beats. Tap, tap, tap. He thinks I'll eventually give in and tell him what he wants to hear, but he hasn't been around me enough in the last two years to know that I'm not that girl anymore. When I refuse to acknowledge his performance, he eventually sighs and drops his elbows to the table. Well, I thought you'd be happy for me. I force a quick shake of my head. Happy for you? He can't be serious. He shrugs and a smug smile takes over his already irritating expression. I didn't know I had it in me to become a father again. A loud burst of disbelieving laughter escapes my mouth. Releasing sperm to the vagina of a 24-year-old does not a father make, I say, somewhat bitterly. His smug smile disappears and he leans back and cocks his head to the side. The head cock was always his go-to move when he wasn't sure how to react on screen. Just like you're contemplating something deep and it'll pass for any, almost any emotion. Sad, introspective, apologetic, sympathetic... He must not recall that he was my first acting, acting coach for most of my life. And this look was one of the first he taught me. You don't think I have the right to call myself a father? He sounds offended by my response. Why does that make me to you then? I treat his question as a rhetorical and stab at another piece of ice. I skillfully slip it up my straw and then slide the piece of ice into my mouth. I bite into it with a loud, uncaring crunch. Surely he doesn't expect me to answer that question. He hasn't been a father since the night my acting career came to a standstill when I was just 16.